and the mba grads that are getting recruited are they ready to serve at the same speed if you're not introducing uh, technology if you're not bringing in new practices you probably are teaching something that has happened or that has started 30 40 years back we have all seen how the markets are doing uh, currently the it jobs have probably been hit the most in the last couple of years yeah. and uh, you know in a time like this you're coming up with the technology management institute how do we see that the type of roles that were available around let's say 2 3 years back and the type of roles that will be actually available in the it sector 2 years down the line will be quite different Right, uh, so here we are with another interesting video. Uh, I am sitting right now at a campus which is getting built. So there might be times when you probably will hear some construction sound going on, and something interesting is coming up which we have come in here to probe. And for that, I have with me Professor Aditya Jadhav. Uh, we actually are at the Mahe Bangalore campus. And what is the program that we are going to talk about and try and understand for our uh, students? Can you just tell us a little? Uh, thanks, thanks for having here, Paul. And uh, this is the Mahe Bangalore campus. You are right now at the TA Pi Management Institute, that is Stephanie's Bangalore campus. And uh, the program we are discussing now is the MBA in Technology Management that Tapni is starting at its Bangalore campus. So Aditya, uh, you know, we had a conversation when you probably were a part of uh, TAPME that we all know it, of the Manipal uh, campus that it had. The TAPME that we know it has also a MBA program and this one also is an MBA program. Isn't this conflict of interest? No, 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 no. First and foremost, Paul, I would like to clarify the TAPME that you knew and the TAPME that you are discussing are same. Okay, it is not two TAPMEs. Okay, that is something I would like to clearly inform you and through you all the audience tapme is now an institution with two campuses okay so you are talking of the same institution but multiple campuses and many other institutions are doing it right xnri has two campuses uh, you have iams many iams have their uh, satellite campus and tapme at manipal offers five programs uh, mba in general management uh, mba in banking and financial services mba in marketing mba in hr and mba in international business this is a program the mba in technology management is something that we had been thinking for long but when we got an opportunity in the bangalore campus we thought yes we should experiment on this and try to capture correct mba in technology management is something which is very niche very focused when you're talking about technology management uh, like we talk about you know hr like we talk about uh, marketing like we talk about specialization in uh, you know any of the diploma programs that you do this is also a two year program that we are talking about uh, and when we talking about technology management what is the first thing that comes to your mind what should a program that deals with technology and management should have technology and management are not two different things that's the first thing we should be very clear okay technology management is a single component and what is the idea behind technology management you see the thing is technology generally gets parachuted okay look at any great uh, company the technology decisions by the cto are generally done at the top new technologies are adopted or rather new technologies are purchased and then the company starts thinking about how to implement it throughout the company in the best manner to release the whole objective of technology is what is to increase efficiency is to increase business efficiency but it has been also been seen many technology adoption programs have failed they have failed because the user of the technology the customer of the technology has really not been thought about technology should make life easy it should not make life difficult and it should make life easy to the person who is most tech averse okay look at the touch screen the touch screen has been adopted extensively by the old people because it is easy to use okay so the whole idea of technology management is given the size of the it budget of company or the tech budget that the companies are currently having we wanted to provide people who can really help companies adopt technology in the most efficient manner Correct. 
and that is what we are trying to achieve through this program there is no other objective of this program it's technology adoption so the tagline of the program itself paul is embracing technology enhancing efficiency okay understood and uh, that uh, you are doing in this particular campus and as i mentioned things are getting built things are getting uh, built from scratch uh, probably the idea has dominated long back but the execution is still on uh, in your particular campus and you're part of the mahe bangalore campus which in itself is an uh, ecosystem right uh, can you talk a little bit about what this ecosystem offers to the students when they come in here the whole idea was that let's create a campus where there is huge enough integration for students to really learn from each other okay so this is a almost an 80 acre campus currently a with 10 different schools we have the school of engineering that is the manipal institute of technology we have the srishti school of design it's called the srishti manipal institute of design then we have tapmi tapmi has started its bangalore campus here then we have the department of commerce we have a dep- department of liberal arts we have manipal institute of regenerative medicine and then we have manipal institute of uh, entrepreneurship and leadership it's called innovation entrepreneurship leadership it's called uh, miles so the number of institutes here are variety but they are all integrated correct okay. means to, today when i say i am going to start tech management program there is a whole huge ecosystem from the engineering uh, college that is available and then bangalore system ecosystem is available if tomorrow i want the law college today at that mahe bangalore actually focuses extensively in the area of cyber law so you have a full fledged department of cyber law that is going to be available and i'm not going to go and search i'm not i'm basically going to tap into all these departments to really understand this for example tomorrow if i have to teach ui ux design to a student which is something that we want the students to learn because they should understand how the interface works i am certainly going to involve the people from the shrishti manipal institute to come and also discuss their perspective on designing okay so is there a school of design that is the whole idea that, that's that's probably how you integrate uh, cross functional learning as that, well that's so right can we touch down upon this very interesting fact of including technology in management because we all have seen that you know how important has become to be technologically at par with what is happening yes uh, at par with the developments that are taking place and probably the management degree itself is getting um a little outdated in a lot of these schools right if you're not including uh, technology if you're not bringing in new practices you probably are teaching something that has happened or that has started 30 40 years back as part of our country yeah so you are right paul in that that especially after 2020 tech has effectively uh, you can say captured everything okay everything is tech based today and uh, education itself is tech based and i'm not talking of delivering education through uh, online sources and all that is certainly a delivery mode which is a very important mode for us but we are talking of use of technology in our day to day activities right so companies suddenly have found that okay technology can be a really easier way to scale and the thing is scaling using technology requires a different approach we saw this scaling using the traditional approaches right now a uh, interesting fact paul i will tell you is look at any good b school right you can start with the best b school uh, i am amdavad or isb and then you can go through it right you will find majority of the recruiters in most of these companies are in the tech domain okay even the consulting companies today have a very strong tech consulting uh, vertical and they are doing tech consulting digitization you know digital adoption many of these activities are being done why is it happening because there is an management aspect customer is ready to adopt technology today but customer wants services at a very fast rate and technology is the only way the company is going to be able to do it so the company that are adopting technology customers want technology and but the interesting part is and the mba grads that are getting recruited are they ready to serve at the same speed and the sort and and let's talk about uh, the program in general is and bit what exactly are you constituting in this program how are you making it different uh, in its approach so that you know it becomes more um 
you know, industry specific or related to the industry and the demands and requirements. So what we have done is a very simple uh, concept. Okay, we were very clear that we are not creating an MBA program with technology as a compulsory elective. Uh. So it's not like the first year of MBA is common and second year of MBA. Yeah, you will introduce technology and they will study technology, which is generally what happens in many courses. That's not the objective, right? So when we started designing the program, I will tell you. So what I did was, when we started designing the program, I invited industry professionals basically to design the program. So we had uh, Sridhar Pai. Uh, he is an uh, avid technology user and a an serial entrepreneur in the IT space. Uh, I had uh, Professor Selvaraj. Professor Selvaraj is basically has a background with ISRO and IIT Madras PhD, ISC PhD, sorry. Right? Then I had Professor Dige. Professor Dige is basically a PhD from uh, MIT USA. Okay? And then I had Professor Mahadevan, who has been a director in telecom companies for almost a long period. So these are the four guys I told them. I told them, see, we are saying solving a problem that is that the company need not really take efforts on training this guy and they when they started doing they were very clear that every pro every course fall has a tech element into it and the management element into it okay so we are basically looking at that we are very clear that every course has a tech element into it management element into it 40% of the content across the uh, two years would be about management. Another 40% would be tech. And 20% we have kept to the sectoral verticals that where the student would like to actually specialize in. And uh, so another thing that we are very clear, we want to make it industry ready. So we have uh, decided that there will be a huge portion or rather lot of delivery will actually happen by industry professionals. And when I say industry professionals, we are talking of professionals who are currently working in the tech domain. Okay. The other thing, Paul, we are very clearly doing is uh, we are ensuring that the students' engagement with uh, industry or rather with learning, hands-on learning is continuous. What we have done is, uh, I will give you a very simple example of our internship. Generally, an MBA internship is of eight weeks and at the end of eight weeks, this, basically, the student comes back. That's, back. Yeah. That's the whole objective. And then he starts working on his electives. We are not looking at that. What we have decided that first and foremost, this internship will be 20, almost three months. Then we are going to the company and telling them, if you like the candidate, if you think he's working very well, and if he's working on a very important project, and you want him to continue contributing, please continue this internship as a live project for the next two terms, okay? So whenever the student has going to be fine, he's going to be continuously engaged with the company, is continuously contributing and let's assume if the company is really valuing such a candidate and the company says yes i like this candidate i want to hire him and the candidate is also comfortable with the company and says yes i would like to join them and grow with them then we also have an option for a student to convert his term six into a winter internship and go and work with the company right aditya if i may uh you know i go to a lot of b schools and uh, a lot of new B schools have also come up. A lot of new B schools that are coming up, they have this promise that they are tech oriented, right? When you are seeing so much competition within that space itself, yeah. how are you going to then present yourself or prove yourself something that's going to give you something different? Is this the kind of positioning that you want for your B school? Or are you saying that probably in those very B schools that you are seeing, I have this particular edge over the others. See, I will again tell you, every B school has a reason to exist. India is an extensively growing country. Prime Minister today itself has clearly said that he intends to ensure that India is in the top three economies of the globe. And it's not going to be easy. There is huge space for growth. So if you really ask me, you know, all the B schools can grow in this space without worrying about competition. If you really ask me, I, I don't see competition really being a problem okay on the contrary we are very clear that okay we can collaborate and grow and we should collaborate and grow to ensure that the student receives the best correct so wait, what kind of students are you then looking for so the first batch that you said that you're not looking beyond 30 35 students 
what is the kind of mix that you are looking for then uh, in these kind of students and what are the kind of skills that they should be definitely having do they need to be from a typical background do they need to have a certain tendency towards learning what is it i'll tell you something very clearly okay this is not a replacement for mtech or ms okay and this is not a compulsory engineer joining program this is a program open to anyone who has huge interest in technology and when we seeing huge interest in technology means someone who is currently working in the tech domain and someone post the mba wants to continue working in the tech domain is clear on his thought process because you see there is no way of switching once you enter this program that is what we are looking so we are looking at people who are passionate about technology in simple terms okay and we are not looking at anything else so someone everyone should have at least 2 years of work ex and we are very clear that 2 years of work ex should be at the time of application so that is something we are not going to yes, why not this point there is no cut off as such that you are looking at or any specific background yeah yeah so we are not looking at so for example someone is in ba okay someone has done his bachelor of arts and currently extensively working in the area of uh, digital marketing welcome to the program you are the right fit for this program and second thing we are very clear is we are not going to put up an entrance exam cut off and the reason being is we have a separate interview an additional interview along with the general in- mba interview that is conducted by tapni for the students of this program which will be conducted by the alumni and industry professionals to test out whether the student has is passionate about technology we have all seen how the markets are doing uh, currently the it jobs have probably been hit the most in the last couple of years yeah. and uh, you know in a time like this you're coming up with the technology management institute how do we see that on the contrary i think we have actually timed it well you see what has happened is it sector turmoil is basically coming from the slowdown in many countries okay and the world situation that is evolving but it's a business cycle So by 2026, when these guys will graduate, actually we'll see there would be a big upturn in life. Second thing is the type of roles that were available around, let's say, two three years back, and the type of roles that will be actually available in the IT sector two years down the line will be quite different. For example, generative AI might actually make coding as a skill not that necessary. The reason being, generative AI can itself code, okay, but where to use generative ai how to embed generative ai into the process so that you know you get the maximum efficiency is what this program is all about so actually the company will be looking forward to the facility to the skill sets that we are actually creating and that's why i am damn sure that i have actually timed it well and by 2026 we would actually i am not even worried about it you know see generally people talk about placements i am not worried about placements for this guy at all i am sure they would have hand some placements placements i am not worried right i then worried about uh, the students who will be interested in taking this up i worried about the yeah. so okay. this is something i will be very frank see many times when i have done interviews i have seen students saying that sir i don't want to continue in the tech space okay that's why i am doing an mba i want to do a marketing mba but they do end up in the tech space again okay so this is where i think the students should be a little more careful okay that if they want to go because studying something else and then joining some other role it, it slows down your career growth okay and after doing an mba spending so much time a slow career growth is not something we need to do that so that is one thing i am very clear and i i would so identifying the right students is something i am really interested in and i will explain you why there is again i am telling you there is no u turn here okay there is no way to get off the ramp okay if you join in you will graduate as an mba tech okay so be sure when you are joining is what you're saying super uh, thank you very much uh, thanks for all, um, all the i'm really thankful for to paul and your team of inside i am for coming here thank you very much thank you thank you and uh, i hope that this uh, information about this particular program was helpful for you as well if you want to know more about the program there's a link in the description go we'll check that out If you have any further questions that are related to this particular program and you want to know more about this particular campus uh, do tell us in the comments below as well and share this video with someone who is interested in pursuing a management degree with has a technology bent to it thank you once again and thanks, thanks for all the praise over for